right, so I lost some, some camera footage. Like really the first probably like eight minutes of this vlog, like a whole half a day worth of content, right? But I still got a lot of content. It was really supposed to be like two vlogs. That's why I really had to upload it because I couldn't find the other content. So basically, uh, this is just gonna be like two vlogs smashed into one and it's gonna be kind of long, but uh, I'm at least still dropping for you guys, you know what I'm saying? So uh, let's rock it out, you know what I'm saying? So let's, let's get into the video. Well, you know what that means. You gotta get gas. You see that? Fuel level is low. Fuel level is low. You peep it? Yeah, I know. Peep that, gang gang. Well, I pulled up to the good old gas station because you know, we need gas. Cause how else are we gonna do hood rat shit with our friends without gas? Like we need gas to get around. So that's what I'm doing, getting gas. So we can go, you know, do what we do. Well, you know what's going on, cause, oh wait, my bad, my bad, I'm sorry. There we go, you know, premium, that high ass gas, yes, yes, stick it in, stick it in deep. Oh, and we rolling, let's get it, let's go. I kid you not, the perks of having this Benz, look, I don't know if y'all know or not, but back when I had the Infinity truck, like way back last year, I don't know if I ever publicized this, but I used to literally spend like 70, 75 dollars to fill up every time. So to see this little 38 is a blessing. For real, like for real, for real. So I'm glad to be here. Somebody is smoking good gas out here. At the gas station, there's gas being stationed in some room, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 super strong. I mean, that that's that exotic. Oh yeah, that that's that's who's smoking the good gas. That is who is smoking the good gas. This is what you see in Memphis: niggas pumping gas at the gas station, smoking gas. So yeah, that's that's Memphis life. All right, watch this. Here my mouth. Hey, every t my car keeps doing this. I gotta take it into the shop, bro. Does anybody know what this means? Leave that in the comment section down below, cause it, it does it like every three seconds. Like I'm, see what is that? Like, oh my god! But y'all just let me know what that is, please. Anyways, we're at home, not at home, but at home. If you, I don't know if you know what I mean, but basically this is what I'm talking about. We at home, like not the little house, but you know. So. Yeah, look at all those lovely black people. Power to the people during these very bad times that we living in. Actually, we live in some pretty good times because we got infrastructure and things, but it's still bad socially. You know what I'm saying? Let's take some steps into this because we got some apartment shopping to do because we are moving soon. So y'all stay tuned for them apartment shopping vlogs and the moving vlogs and the furnishing vlogs and the empty house tour vlogs and the in the house chilling vlogs and all that good shit, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all stay tuned. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a buck. All right, all right. This, this is fresh, but almost everything in here ain't hidden today. I'm not even gonna lie. It like Corona came through and took it all. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm just kinda fresh, but I ain't trying to do no gold and teal in the crib. That's, ooh, I ain't gonna lie, this is not hard. Y'all sleeping on this one. Yeah, and it swivels. Look at that. That's nice. I'm I'm catching that vibe. Y'all not catching that vibe? Hello? Yes. This is decent. It's a hard right, though. This one's fulfilled. This one's cool. This one, this is, this is nice. Yeah, what you think, too? I always like this one, too. Yeah. I like this. It's got nice little pockets to, you know, put coins in and things like that. Coins? Yeah, I could put like a quarter here, a quarter here, a quarter here, a quarter here. So everybody can rob your ass when they come and visit. Who gonna rob me? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this couch. It's just pretty much a vibe, you know what I'm saying? And it matched me because we shades of gray. Not 50, just three. You know what I'm saying? So, I like this. Sit on some wealthy shit right here. You know what I'm saying? This is wealth and luxuriousness. I don't even think we're going to get this couch. I'm going to just be a honey. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think we did Miss Couch either. <laughs> but it made for good blog content, so you know. Yeah. Thank you, Couch. Yeah. Okay, question. Is it supposed oh. to come like this? Because this one is leaning too. So, is that the way it comes? I'm confused. The, the common theme in this store is broken. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but at my home, everything is supposed to be broke. But I'm seeing everything in here. Like, look, hold on, look. Y'all just, y'all just look at this. When you just walk down the aisle and you just see this, you just see this and you see them leaning chairs and then you open up the shelving. You know, you're supposed to get an idea. Not, what is this? Like, it's not even in here. Like, what is going on? Everything in this joint is half past done. Is this just the Memphis at home? Is this every at home? Is it like discount broke shit? Like, what's going on? Like, for real, I need to know. Cause I don't want to be buying a whole bunch of broke things. You dig? You feel me? Knives right here. I ain't never seen a knife so. Look at this. Beautiful. I've never seen knives this pretty. You can pretty. make dangerous things pretty. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right, now we're pulling up to the bougie, bougie Target. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, bro. You, you hear how my energy's down? Look, I thought apartment shopping would be fun. I'm not having fun. This is not fun. I promise you, this isn't. Maybe, maybe because I haven't found nothing at home was terrible. Like, it like almost took inspiration from me wanting to move again. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, hopefully, Tarjay helped with the vibes. We're gonna see if it does. If it don't, this is the end of the road for today. Dirty, clean, dirty. Clean. What's good, YouTube? It is a. Run that back, back, back. Run that back, run that back. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Alright, so we starting this vlog off how we ended the last vlog, and that's with furniture shopping. So right now we're looking at good furniture things, you know what I'm saying? Everything going on. Oh, uh, yeah. Some of this is nice stuff here. Like, I ain't gonna lie, this one, this one's different. Like, actually, all these are different. Like, look at that. Do y'all see that? It's like little gold flakes in there, bro. That's so dope. Like, it's really nice. Oh, my goodness. I like this one a lot. This is definitely up our alley. So, you know what I'm saying? We're just in here vibing, getting some ideas together for the new apartment. And, uh, yeah, just see what we see. Hey, bro, so I'm just standing here itching. And I realized while I was itching, look at this. That's what happens when you take stuff to the dry cleaners. You know what I'm saying? You forget the tags are still on there. At least you know my shirt clean though. Gang, gang. All right, so as you can see, we walking out with articles of home goods and things like that. Uh, we starting this shopping spree off right with a nice, beautiful lamp. The same lamp that y'all saw. I mean, when I get to the crib or whatever, I might show you again, but yeah, it's pretty much the same lamp. Uh, trunk or backseat? Trunk. So let's trunk, let's get it. All right, I don't know if y'all can see me or not, but I know you can see my hair, so it's all good. You know who is talking to you right now. But uh, yeah, we about to walk to TJ Maxx real fast. Hey, what y'all don't know is TJ Maxx, the low key plug on good shit, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta go slide to TJ Maxx whenever, you know, you home shopping and furniture shopping and things like, they won't have, I mean, they might have a little furniture, but it really more on like the decor decorator De wait how do you say decorator decorative decorative my fault my fault see ashen gotta catch himself sometime but yeah on a decorative tip they be having some lit shit you know some nice throw pillows some nice little trinkets and stuff so you gotta plug yourself in with tj maxx and marshall's for sure bro all right so i mean ain't none of this stuff hidden but this is basically what you come in here and find you know what i'm saying you just find stuff like this i ain't gonna lie these plates are hard no cap but yeah, it's just stuff like this. A little decorative thing. We're just gonna see what we see, see if anything pops out. And if it does, we'll get it. If it don't, on to the next place, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all see if we buy something. 
So basically, uh, Terry found some rocks. We don't know where we're putting them, but we're getting them. And worst case scenario, we give them away. They're only ten dollars, so you know what I'm saying. It's all good. But yeah, find things a piece at a time. A piece at a time. That's key. What's good? All right, so we we in a new furniture store. Now this is like high end, like uh, I'm talking about very, very high end. Like you come over here, you look at this lamp. How much you think this lamp will be? I'll wait. Leave it down in the comment section below. Okay, I'm gonna guess y'all say about three, four hundred. No, that's seven. You did what I'm saying. It's different. We spending bags. I'm just playing. We're really just looking, getting some ideas. But we're gonna see. We just kind of walked around, so we're gonna see what the vibe is. Terry, looking at this base thing, I like it. I rock no, with it too. No, it goes with your ball. It do go with my ball. So you trying to get that? Yeah, What's the price on it? Ninety-one dollars. That is, see, that is ridiculous. That's what you get when you come in the bougie stuff, though. So, so you know, you just you, you pay for different things. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna see if it's worthwhile. Look at Terry. She's over here trying to see if this looks good on this table. It, it does. does. It does not. I know. Yeah. I was just trying to see how it looks. I feel you. I feel you. But yeah, we're just in here catching a vibe. And uh, I'll show you what really catches our eyes. We're going through this joint. So, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. You know, a little self admiration, yes. Let's do a quick OOTD, you know, in the furniture store. So I got the McQueens, you know what I'm saying? My favorite Gucci socks, you did. I'm gonna go in, yeah, you see that. Frame jeans, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get these ones at a good Nordstrom's or Saks. And you might not know it, but this is a good Prada. This is a Prada basic shirt, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, OOTD for you. Yo, so we just, I guess this is a bookstore, but they got Gucci book. They got like the history of Gucci in here and stuff like that. It's crazy. They got the Spirit Travel of Louis Vuitton. I don't know if this is actual Louis Vuitton book. Well, yeah, it looked like Louis Vuitton for real. They got Ralph Lauren. They got Tom Ford. We're getting a Tom Ford today. That one's just so elegant. Might come back for this Gucci though. No joke. But I don't know if it matches the vibe of the crib. So right now we're going to leave it on. This lamp. This lamp is amazing. I don't even care. These fur balls are amazing. You know what I'm saying? But this lamp is crazy. Oh, this is one of the hardest chairs I've ever seen. I'm not even joking. Do y'all see this? Do I don't think y'all are understanding how I do. Let me, let me just see how I feel when I sit down in this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The richness is here. The richness is here. You feel rich? Mm -hmm. Do you? Yes. I feel I feel swell, Franklin. That's how I'm feeling. I need a butler in this chair. For real. I'm, this is a vibe. This is so much a vibe. We actually ended up picking up that Tom Ford book that was in there. And that joint was like $200. We over here buying books instead it's of furniture. It's $296. What? Yeah, that's what I said. It's $296. It's a $300 book. Why you didn't say no? You said you wanted the book. I didn't know it was that much. That's why you're mad. Yeah, because that's misleading. How the fuck is it? How it said $199 on it. I that. understand that. So what made it three? I don't know. I really don't know what made it three pounds. Why you didn't ask? God. Can you turn the camera off, please? Because you're about to frustrate the fuck out of me. So, Terry was hangry. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the truth. I'm not going to sugar. But, um, yeah, Terry was hangry, so we came to Capital Girl real quick since we're just being extra boozy and spending a lot of money today. Because we definitely just spent $300 on a book. <laughs> so, uh, it's definitely different. Uh, but today is going to be a boss ass day. So, let's get to it. Alright, so we got good drinks going on today. Good cocktails happening. Remember how um, Terry was getting scammed with that book? Well, if y'all can read that, I might throw a screenshot on him, but it, it's, this text message is basically saying 
that she rang the book up on and she rang it up for like 76 more dollars than what it was supposed to be so we're getting a refund you know what i'm saying so it's all good we thought we got super finessed but um apparently you know if you come to capital girl everything will work out in your favor so it's all good you know what i'm saying so i'm still happy and look at these beautiful crab cakes, bro. These are the best crab cakes I've ever had. You gotta come to Capital Grill and get these amazing ass crab cakes. So come to Capital Grill and get these great crab cakes. Gang, gang. All right, no. Big baller chips. Yo, so we took a wonderful ass break at Capital Grill, right? Now, we're back at Target to, I guess, I don't know, bro. I'm too lit. I'm not gonna lie, I had two mojitos at Capital Grill. Capital Grill is super strong, so. That's all that's on my mind. Like, that's a short person right there. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, that was so mean. But, yeah, we're in Target. And we're looking for something that has to do with home goods. So stay tuned. It look like we buying the house today, so that's what Terry holding. All right, I didn't record anything, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, Capital Grill had me dumb, dumb lit. So now I'm gonna show you the lamp that we got earlier in the, the vlog, you know, like very, very much earlier in the vlog. It's the lamp, you know, y'all remember seeing this joint. I know I ain't getting it all on the screen. Oh, there we go, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the lamp. I took a long nap after them good mojitos from Capital Grill. If y'all don't know, Capital Grill got the strongest drinks in the game. So go get your drinks from Capital Grill. And uh, you know, show love to your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You can also go follow me on Instagram at mydesignerass. It's not like Ash, like on here, because I haven't talked about that. I did switch my YouTube name. This is the last time I'm switching my YouTube name, I think. Hold me to that. Like, I'm not trying to do that no more. But yeah, I just switched it because I wanted to make a seamless, you know, brand, you know. Designer Ash. My Instagram name is Designer Ass with an A-S-S, but you know what I mean. Instagram lets you be a little bit greater than YouTube. They don't care about profanity as much when you, you know. I don't know how that works, honestly. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And please go follow me on Instagram because we lit and we vibing out here. And we on the road to like a 1,000 subscribers still. But we're really going to be on the road to 10,000. So let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, I know, you know, I ain't never going broke My pockets get a swole, like some fessor style long Get it stressed to cocaine like I'm Pablo Esco My diamonds keep boxing and my flows is off the road She says she won't love, but I ain't going down that road Bitch, I'm too young for the Cupid, don't be stupid I'm just trying to fuck one, time to keep it moving This shit call me trifling, not the first I heard that line in my movie